Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back in Satisfactory. We're overlooking the our kind of new oil processing setups. We have the plastic one is up and running. You can see plastic going into storage there. Eventually, I may want to put like a smart splitter on here and send some of this plastic off into um, maybe an awesome sink and generate some... Uh, Extra tickets because we are not accruing tickets very fast now. We don't have much going into the awesome sink. That limestone or cement that we're sending in does not generate many tickets. Um, so that's something we might do a little bit later on. And then on this side, we have another oil well and we're mostly hooked up. This side's going to be for the rubber, but we still have some work to do. We'll get that set up. In between episodes, I ran power lines. You can see there's a new power line going off and Squirreling off into the distance that hooks up with our main power grid. So we're now all on the same power grid and I believe Not positive haven't done the math, but I believe this setup is going to generate a tiny bit of surplus power for us as long as it's running It's not power. We're going to be dependent on but um should give us a little bit of extra power on the network Especially if we put the awesome sink that'll ensure this thing keeps running so that's something we might get to, but let's get back to rubber. So this episode, we want to finish the rubber setup, get it into storage, um, set up more coal burners to burn the petroleum coke. I think we need 20, so we'll see how many fit. I'm tempted just to do one big long row. I'm actually not crazy about all of these machines like this. I wish it was um, a more expensive coal generator. Maybe even make it bigger, but make it so I don't need three dozen in the same spot. I don't know. For some reason, I don't like the look of uh, all these spammed, spammed in machines all looking the same, but is what it is. Let's get to it. I noticed just before hitting the record button, we need to extract the rubber from our uh, refiners here, and I have a belt here that's crooked, so that's going to make that a problem. Let's get on it. Let's get on it. It's basically this little guy. I'm going to use the fly mo uh, mod for a bit see this guy i'm just looking at the where the support is that one's right on the edge that one's right on the edge right so that is guess that's straight that almost doesn't look straight but must be let's pop another one down where are you here That should give us a straight belt. Okay, splitters. Uh, these do not want to line up. So we may have to eyeball this a bit. Again, this is our rubber all coming out of the refiners. Yeah, without the fly mode or jetpack, this would just be incredibly tedious and you would not want to watch it. I'd be jumping around like a frog trying to get in here and into these spaces. Do you think that the jetpack should be like either standard equipment or available like tier one? Because, uh, man, some of this stuff is just crazy to place. I guess you could run pipes and everything really high up. And maybe that would make it a little easier to walk around. All right, where are we at now? Now we need to get our storage. We don't need fly mode for this part. Um, we need to get that into our storage array. And what did we do last time? Looks like we came down fairly quick. And then we're going to input... From this side, and then do all this kind of stuff. Snake these around. Once we're done with the rubber, we'll grab a supply of rubber, grab a supply of plastic, head back to the main, kind of our main headquarters, and see how many of the hub upgrades we can run through. I think there's a bunch with just those two materials. Um, that we can unlock 
we have pipe upgrades coming. We have belt upgrades coming. We have the manufacturer, which is what's holding us back on the, um, holding us back on the heavy modular frames. And once we unlock that manufacturer, I think that's what we're going to work on next. Go back to the factory I started, the kind of modular frame factory that we expanded and put the heavy modular frames right next door. We have some trucks we're going to need to set up, truck routes to bring in materials. So that's all coming. Hopefully we can get that started this episode. We'll see how well we do. Like I said, we just we have to put down 20 power plants here. Um, What's the problem? Will you... Yeah, it looks like that's going to be happy. Am I out of belt making materials? <laughs> oh man, I'm out of steel and I don't think I have an easy way to make that. Let's see if I happen to have anything um, in inventory. I don't believe I do. I don't think I have it. Um, let's see, what do I have? This is all iron ingots, right? I have, oh, I have one, <laughs> I have one steel nut, uh, ingot. Let's head over to the Explorer and just open up the um, crafting station and see if there's anything I can magically pull off here. We do have coal on us. We might be able to get enough to get by. Where are you? Explorer, you're over here. I have a feeling we're going to have to run back to the steel factory. Let's see. Can I make steel? Mm, not really. Oh, I can make some of this. We get three per. We're going to need a lot, though. Um, I don't have any on the Explorer, in the inventory of the Explorer. Guessing we're going to have to make a run. Yeah, there's just, there's no way around it, right? We have to put down a bunch of oil refineries. Let's see what those take. Go to curiosity. Um, sorry, coal burners, coal generators. Yeah, we need rotors too. Rotors. Where am I going to get rotors? Uh, we need a bunch of rotors. Let's go make a run for materials. This won't be too bad, I hope. Bit of a trek though, isn't it? Yeah, where can I get rotors on the way? We have some at the smart plating factory. We might. Do we have those somewhere else? Oh man, I can't remember. I wasn't planning on running out of materials. There's the new power line that I ran. Kind of see it off to the right here. We didn't hop that little lit ledge. Let's see if we cut through here. Well, we must not have done much over here. A spider got crabs. Alright, here's the smart plating factory. Let's stop in here just for the heck of it. 
We can check and see how things are doing. I see iron is still being sucked up into the factory, so we haven't filled up our massive storage array. Do I have stairs on this side? I don't. I have stairs up here. Can I even go up here? Let's try. Oh, come on. Okay, that's not going to allow us to do it. Let's just uh, hop up. Yeah, we might have some rotors in here. If not, I know we have them in another factory. I just don't know which factory that is. Uh, it's going to be up a little ways. I don't think that's it. This looks familiar. if they're backed up in here at all. Yeah, let's grab some out of here. Let's just grab some more off the belt here. Over to the steel plant. Uh, where is the steel plant? Straight away this way. think the hyper two well we can try it we're gonna have to go down i believe from where this hyper tube's gonna drop us off first little frameworks we don't need those this is steel beams Let's take a lot of this. We have the inventory space. Let's just do it. All right. We're good on that. Let's get back down. Hmm. There's some stairs here. I'll take advantage of these and then maybe jump the rest of the way. They don't go all the way down. There's our pathetic cement production. It's super slow, but I think we'll be okay. That's for the encased beams, I believe. Always upgrade it later. Explorers over here. I got a full health bar. We're going to use the express elevator. All right, back to oil processing if we can get there. Not sure if I can take the coast to get there all the way. I think I do have to cut through the middle a little bit. Fuel looks okay. In the explorer, we'll have to put in some more here pretty soon. All right, we're back at the rubber factory. Let's keep it moving. This is our byproduct. We just routed the rubber into storage. Uh, or we were about to. Let's finish that job. I think I ran out of steel. We have it now. Okay, we got it. That is that. Now we need to burn off the byproduct, and then we need to set up power stations, right? I don't think these guys should be tripping on power. I think they just make a noise that sounds like it. Yeah, these guys are doing fine. Byproduct is being pushed into here. The heavy oil residue. We want to get that out now as petroleum coke and let's 
just do that. I think we can do that from down here. Although I'm getting used to the fly mode. Auto save there. A little tight. Oh man, that's not pleasant to look at. Let's see. And I think we need power over here as well. We'll do that next. Uh, let's go around this way. And you. I guess let's see if I can take it off of this one just not sure if this is going to clip or not uh, and where is your power your power is on this side right there wouldn't be bad can you do it Flips right through the building. We don't want that. Let's do this. Is there a... I forgot the keys to scrap a new power pole between two other ones. So I'm just going to do it the old-fashioned way quickly. Interest of time. All right, there's our petroleum coke coming out. Now we're probably going to have to jump into fly mode and we need, what do we say, 20, 20 coal burning power plants along with the water that they're going to need as well. Hmm. Guess I'm thinking of doing it right along here. And then we have plenty of water here. We could do rows of water gatherers, I guess, pushing out that way. Or water collectors, I should say. Um, how many will we be able to get? Can we get 10? Or 20? I don't know. Two rows of 10, maybe? Is that better? That might make more sense. Let's uh, go into fly mode. Maybe two rows of 10 along here. Routing the water may be a little tricky. Let's just jump in and get on it. Oops, let's do zoop mode here. What do these take? Uh, looks like they're bigger than a foundation, aren't they? Let's see. Little generator. There's no outputs to worry about. So we may split the belt of petroleum coke. And water. Water's going to be a little tricky. I think we want it... Oh, what the heck? We want it facing this way. Eight. 
really super duper cramped. Boy, that's pretty close, but it fits. I think we need one more, right? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Power, power's in the back. Oh man, that belt's gonna be a little bit problematic for us. Did move him out half a nugget. Uh oh. Um, let's see, let's see what we can do. Um, not that. Just thinking about the power poles. Is there room? Pretty. the most logical place to tie this in. I guess it's here, right? These two. So now that's hooked into the main network water and that's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're not going to have the most efficient setup. This is 10 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And what do we do? We did three water pumps for eight of them and then one more water pump for the last two, right? We'll probably do the same thing. But then we're going to have a whole nother row. Um, let's see what the water intake is. I'm wondering if we should plan for the pipe upgrade. So build it with level one pipes, but plan on having the level twos kind of thing. These take 50 a minute. 50 a minute. The new pipes will take 600. So maybe we can... We'll build with the level 1 pipes, but then we'll come back and upgrade them. That's what I'm thinking. So maybe one big long pipe. We can at least give that a try. I think the Mark II pipes are double what we have now. And what we have now is... 300, right? Yeah, 300. 50 each. That one's 500. The new pipes take 600. Let's do it. Let's try that. Probably should have done that with the other side, too. Alright. How far? I'm going to extend this out a little bit more. Uh, how about the whole way more? Just for looks. And then we need to run a bunch of wiggly pipes. And we're going to have another row, too. Another row. Hmm. So we're still going to need... Yeah, we'll need one dedicated pipe for these ten. And then another dedicated pipe for the other ten. The petroleum coke is going to swiggle its way around. It could be shared between. We could have one belt. Did we have one belt? What's the production on this? This guy's kicking out 120 per minute. So what, 480 per minute? We're getting new belts too. They're gonna be able to, I think they're gonna be able to handle this. Um, let's see. Freezer 270. We need 480, right? 480, I'm gonna check the wiki real quick. I'll be right back. Yeah, the Mark IV belts will do 480, and I think, I think, I think we're about to unlock those in the hub. Um, let me check that too. 
Yeah, it looks like we're good. Let's plan for a single belt. We're going to use the lower tiered stuff. In fact, we already have that set up here. Um, but we are going to plan to come back and upgrade these and see if we can get by with with one belt. Now, these refiners, they are plugged in. They're hooked up to the network. Let's see. And this belt... What's going on here? Is this just a visual glitch? Apparently. Man, that drives me crazy. So one big belt down the middle. And then pipes. And then another two rows of pipes. A row of pipe for these ten, and there's going to be ten on the other side. Let's just look at the spacing of that. It's going to be kind of the opposite of what we're doing here. We're going to have the belt in the middle. Pipes on the inside, belt in the middle. Let's see how we can pull this off. Um, and then where's water going to come up? Water can come up underneath here. Let's see about the belt first. Do a little bit of belt, a little bit of pipe here. Let's um, get my hop bar. Actually, I can maybe get fly mode. Well, we'll leave it on for a second. Belt, maybe right on this line. And let's see if we can get pipes and a belt to all fit. So I'm just going to test test my spacing here. Uh, this belt is going to run from you to you. And then we want a pipe. It's probably going to come up over here somewhere. This is the water for this whole row. Yeah, how can I get a belt? Or do I need the belt stacked on top? Hmm. Belt may need to go higher, right? Let's look over here with the splitter. Don't think I can run a belt over this pipe quite like I'm thinking I can. No, that's going to clip. We could go closer, right above it. I think that clips too. Hmm. Want one belt shared between 20 of these guys. Oh, uh, yeah, this isn't going to show me how much fuel it's going to use. Um, do I have any of that stuff? Probably coke. Twenty-five per minute. Uh, so what's four eighty over twenty-five? Yeah, that's where we got our twenty. So one belt should be able to do it. I could go up higher, or I could get closer. If I get closer, our splitters are gonna crunch in. If I want to have one belt share between two, then I think my only option is to go higher. Let's try that and see how that looks. It may not look so great. That's you to you. Uh, splitter... That doesn't clip. And then water. I don't know where I'm going to put my water collectors. We might have to run a long pipe 
I need 10 more coal plants over here. Let's uh, build out more platform if we can. The way I have the materials to do this. Yeah, the spacing. How are we going to get the spacing right on this? Something like maybe that? It's got, yeah, three quarters. I'm looking to see for this belt. Like, how far is it over from the belt? From the inside edge of that support, it's like, what? Three quarters of a foundation, and then maybe a little bit more, and then this power plant. could do something where <laughs> we could do something with a single splitter in the middle and have the belt a little wavy not sure if that would look better or worse we can try that on the next one uh okay let's think about where the water pipe would come up for this group that's a bit of a challenge it could come up from the other side let's assume it does let's assume it does so that would mean um just hypothetically just to test the design, let's put it here. That doesn't look too bad, right? They're not even. This one is hugging the pipe a little closer for sure. That would work, and I can get 10 mirror image. Let's do another one just to see what this would look like if we did a single splitter and we put it in the middle. This might look really goofy, or it could be creative. We'll see. Might do it just to do something different. That would be something like you do this wiggle. You do that wiggle. Oh, you're not going to want to cooperate, huh? Hmm. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, maybe it's not perfectly. Boy, that looks pretty darn centered. Yeah, that's not going to be an option. We'll have to do... Boy, I was kind of a little excited about that. We'll have to do two splitters everywhere. That's a little nutty. See if it's gonna work. It's still gonna hold up. That will definitely work for us. Uh, this guy doesn't want to. What? God, I couldn't place those up and down. I guess I can. Boom. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That is our model. Tell you what. Been kind of a long episode. Let me um I'm gonna pipe these together. We can do uh, let's just do some of this. We'll do some of it now. What's going on? Oh, this one's stacked on top or something. Bizarre. Alright, that's us. We gotta go too high over here. Let's get some supports. And I think we hugged the line here, right? You 
And then you melt. Will you reach? Probably not. Put some more supports in. That's that. The pipe. Let's uh, fix the pipe. We're not actually going to come up over here. We're going to have to run that water from back this way. Oh, man. Hopefully we can get it under this. How much room do we have? Uh, let's look. It's going to be snug. Let's see if we can do it. Ideally, we'd want the pipe port to be right here. Boom. Let's see if we can actually run pipe from anywhere under here. In the noodle mode or something. Uh, auto mode. Build mode. Noodle. Looks like we'll be alright. In fact, we're probably going to want to go out this way. Why are there no ceiling mounts? I think we'll be able to do it. I think we'll be able to do it. Can I do this? Something like that? Yeah, that's really all I needed. Just to know that we can do it. Alright, so this comes up. And we need to make sure this is straight as we can get it. That is you. Let's finish doing water on this side. Uh, not yet. I need you guys. Again, this is undersized pipe. So I realize that. We're going to upgrade it. We are going to upgrade it. Probably next episode. If we can get this production done. Oh, okay, yeah. We have this problem before, right? Hmm. Not sure why it let me. I hit the control key and it would not let me connect. And I let go of the control key and it did let me connect. That's our water. Yeah, we said we're having two water lines. So this one's not straight. Let's fix it. This one's a little tricky. It's not on the center of the platform, I don't think. Good enough for me. Yeah, that's uh, exactly what I might leave that just for the beauty of it. Yeah, that looked pretty cool, actually. All right, let's uh, see if we can line these guys up decent. Splitters. Uh, I think two were built there for some reason. Same thing, this belt is going to be under capacity initially, but we're going to upgrade it. At least I'm anticipating that. Very, very soon. 
Oop, that one misfired. All right, let's do one side at a time. I think it's going to be a little easier. Yeah, how you would do this without fly mode is beyond me. It would be tedious for sure. All right, hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. That looks pretty good. Um, we need to wire up power on these guys. Let's do that. It's going to be an easy thing to forget. And then we need to get the... Um, let's actually get the petroleum coke over where we want it. We have belts kind of selected. We need to go... Too high. Let's... um. We have some room over here. Let's just use the space. We'll see if this guy wants to make the turn. It might not look so great. All right, let's uh, get down. Okay, you don't want to go yet. I push this out a bit. Um, let's see. Can we do one of these deals? Operated. Happy about that. one will it be going to give us the right angle turn I'm not sure we'll find out here in a second that's not the one uh that's not it we got to go out a little bit further i think Is what I want. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's uh, walk through here and just make sure everybody's getting petroleum coke. Then we need to wire up the uh, power. Things may back up. While we're waiting on that, let's do the power over here.
All right, those are powered up. I have one that's out of alignment here. Let's fix it. I think we're all hooked up. What's next? We gotta supply water. Tell you what, let's leave that for next episode. We're almost done here. Almost done. We'll have um, rubber production fully automated. Then we can go... What the heck happened over here? I didn't even see this. <laughs> what? Why? Why would that be a thing? That's even possible. Yeah, you can see, trying to navigate through here. Not worth it. Let's fix that goopy pipe. What? Bear with me here, I'm trying to change hot bars. I'm not doing it. Okay. You. Hey, what? I'm having an issue with my controls. There we go. Man. Not sure what that was about. All right. That looks like it's working. And now we know where some kind of mystery ore is that I wasn't didn't care to look for. But yeah, next episode. We have this all wired up for power. I think the last ingredient is uh, water. So just add water and we'll be in good shape. Um, we will grab whatever rubber we have out of here. We probably have some already, right? Some decent supply. Head back to the hub. Do our upgrades. And then we'll have to double back here and upgrade those pipes and upgrade those belts. Particularly for that the rubber line that we just put down. Um, because this belt can't hold that much petroleum coke that these guys are putting out. And these pipes can't hold the water that we're going to want to push through them. So we'll do hopefully both those things next episode. Um, get the water done. Get the upgrades done. And then we can move on hopefully to modular frames. But for now, that's it. This is Gladder Cat saying thanks so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next episode.